as you saw, I'm fascinated by sleep and sleep being your superpower. So actually there is a course we've put together. It's 10 modules and it's how do you eat, how do you move and other lifestyle habits because there are lots of tricks in the trade. Uh, the tricks in the trade we've got here uh, with Jacques Prinsloo on, from Truly Blue is a very easy, seamless one. Just buy a pair of glasses, put them on. He wears a, his all day, which is fantastic. Actually, you look very zhuzh with yours on, I must Thank tell you. Thank you very much. I might start wearing mine. I might need different colors, Shark. Have yeah. you got different colors? Definitely. Okay. Good for you. Cool. So <laughs> one for every outfit. <laughs> yeah, I might need that. Quite a nice accessory, actually. Very nice. Definitely. In fact, I'm going to just say something off script, and uh, as that's just popped to mind. So many of us who are presenting online and having back-to-back -back meetings online, you will not relate to this. So as a woman, we've got to do the mascara and the eyeshadow and whatever, but the glasses are a good distraction. So I might just wear the glasses, <laughs> apply the lipstick, and then I'm good to go on those tight mornings where I don't have time to do makeup. So I need one in every color. Right. But let's go back to, um, I am a grandmother. So my stepson, yes, has got a four-year-old and a two-year-old, two little boys who I'm totally in love with. And uh, I love playing with them and you know teaching them stuff. I'm a really devoted granny. However, what I've watched in their home when granny goes to visit in Cape Town is uh, it's pretty much like I used to do with my children, but no TV with my children because mm. we didn't do tea, a lot of TV, you know, 30 years ago, 25 years ago. So it goes uh, supper time, bath time, and TV time. So these children are watching TV from, you know, probably about half past five to about half past seven when they go to bed, two hours. Mm. Now, any research on that? And do you have any blue blockers for children? So we do have blue light blocking glasses for the little ones. Um, and they're quite cool because they're different colors. Yeah. They're all you know, versatile. You can you can play with it. It's it's hard. It's okay. It's, they're quite it's, robust. It's good, quite, yeah, robust. Robust. Yeah. It's good quality glasses. The idea with the little ones, um, doing it from a very young age, is just we we never had this. We, yep. You, as kids, you know, you you mentioning um, trying to get screen time, um, less screen time, but they want to watch a movie mm. or they want to watch their, their cartoons yes. just before they go to bed. But it's actually the worst thing to do. Exactly. To it's affecting their brains. It's affecting their yep. brains, the way they sleep. And they mm. need more sleep than us because they're far True. more busier than us. Yep. So for us, it's just um, there's not a, a lot of research, con concrete research that goes into the little ones. I'm just the type of, I'm a dad as well. Yes. And I've got a little one, a daughter. How old is she, Jacques? She's four, but going oh, okay. on 16. So, um, <laughs> she's but, teaching you a few she's things. She's teaching yes. us, definitely. My, just, my big thing is I'd much rather try and protect her eyes from yep. a very young age mm. and get her into the swing of things with wearing glasses. So it's very important that they're on tablets. That's um, true. You know, nowadays we're busy. You know, yep. I see kids in a restaurant busy on yep. a tablet. Yep. Our kids don't play around anymore. It's just mm. unfortunately schools, the, the, the school system, um, there's so many different schools out there that are using computers, tablets, That's true. laptops. That's true. So definitely I'd much rather feel good at protecting my little one's eyes yes. um, because it can't be any different to our yep. eyes. Yep. And in actual fact, in 10 years from now on, the kids will be in a pretty even worse place than what That's we are true. at at the That's moment. That's true. I, uh, when I look at family systems and behaviors and families, I always say role model to your children. So when my children were at school, I used to take their cell phones away and put them in a little sleep bed that I had made. <laughs> um, and that had to go to bed in the lounge. And I used to say, mom's phone is going to bed, your phone needs to go to bed, read a paper book. So that's still what we should be doing. Absolutely. So with our children is when they, and they deserve to watch a little something, you know, mm. after they've had their bath, but then put your uh, glasses to bed and get into bed with them and read little, little stories. So we could still oh, have that role modeling. Um, I was also just going to say, just in terms of children, is that uh, as a family norm, you know, I would, when I'm with my grandchildren, put my, mine on and theirs on at the same time because children can resist some of these things. Absolutely. You go out into the sun and you go, come on, little Johnny, you've got to put your, your little cap on and they mm. won't because uh, they won't wear stuff. So really getting children into this is a behavior habit that we as a family do. It can also be a fun, and sorry for interrupting. Yeah, yeah. It can also be a fun thing. You know, kids are very, they, they like little sponges. Yes. So, you know, when, when you buy them, we've got pink and purple.
purple and blue and yellow okay. and black and white. So wow. for them, it's more of a gimmick than yes. anything else. But you know they're sitting in front of the TV or sitting in front of the tablet and they're wearing it because they look funky or cool That's and true. it's different. But you know that in your heart, my kids' eyes are being protected exactly. against exactly. the harmful blue light. Exactly. And actually another point that I've seen in my research is that... Uh, if your child, like your four-year-old or my grandchildren, wake up in the middle of the night, is don't put on the big bright light of the ceiling. Absolutely. So a little quick trick you could do <laughs> is go to Builder's Warehouse and get a red globe. Mm. Put that in the bedside lamp. And when your child wakes up and they're thirsty or they've had a nightmare or whatever, is have red lighting so that it doesn't affect their eyes and their brain. Because mm. the minute you get that bright light on, is your brain goes, okay, time to wake up, cortisol, and that's more difficult to get them back to sleep. Wow. And Jacques, that's for you and I as well. <laughs> so if you've got to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, is put the, uh, red, light put the red light on. Or I sometimes take my mobile mm. as an example, if I'm staying at a hotel and I'm not familiar with the layout, mm. And I'll put my little torch on my mobile on, but I'll cover it with my hand, and that gives you a kind of a red glow. But your eyes do not want to have the bright light in, in the middle of the night. Absolutely. So thank you, thank you. Um, I'm really hoping nice that uh, where can people find Truly Blue? Well, they can go to um, the retail side, exclusive books, pharmacies, uh, discount Or our pharmacies. website, actually. Or the website. Yes, or yeah. our resident uh, people.co.za. Um, it is something that you really should invest in. I have got one uh, next to my bedside table in my bedroom and also on my desk in case I am working late. So I hope you've enjoyed the news and high noon live on LinkedIn with Joni Petty. Thank you.